I am Balachandran. Um, when I was in IIT, my name was Balachandran. When I became a US citizen, I made it Bala Chandran. I'm better known as Bucket. My, my first week here at IIT in 1977, I was in the freshman's hostel Alak or Alakananda. And I had so many dirty clothes that I had to do a lot of washing. And each time I walked with a bucket of clothes to the bathroom, uh, there were people sitting and chatting in the corridor, fellow freshmen who uh, didn't know my name because I had just walked in. And they saw me carrying buckets and buckets of clothes to the bathroom. And they said, let's call him Bucket. So that's how I got the name. And it stuck for five years right from my first day in IIT. And um, I was in the metallurgy batch with my Uday, <laughs> better yeah. known as Fuyong, he'll explain yeah, <laughs> how that came to be. Um, uh, then uh, I think, do, yeah, yeah, you take over now. I introduce myself. Okay, good evening. Uh, my name is Uday, Uday Prakash. I prefer to be called Uday because my name gets murdered otherwise. Uh, but uh, people in IIT chose to call me Fu Yang. You have to ask them or you have to ask Bala why <laughs> I am called Fu Yang. He explained very well what, what his name was, but uh, he will probably tell why I was called. Anyway, for the record, my name was Uday. I was his wingmate in Ganga, right? And uh, both of us uh, struggled to do a project report together. If he, I think he's under the same guide for BTEC. Uh, so, apart from this, uh, we were involved in a lot of extracurricular activities and uh, uh, he more than me and uh, he forgot very modestly to say that he was the sports secretary of uh, in his final year. I think he will he'll elaborate on that a little more. I was more on the literary side which I will talk about a little later. So, these are the, apart from our studies. Uh, and now we are connecting after 40 years here at yes, this, at, is my this first. Uh, at this center, courtesy Kumaran. He's a very persistent person. I won't take no for an answer. I mean, he's off the frame now. But uh, I guess uh, with this introduction, is that uh, sufficient enough uh, introduction for you? And uh, uh, you will so, have to. He he has many more uh, heritage stories which he can tell. So. So Can you I, talk about the year when you became a sports secretary in the I, hostel? I will. Uh, I've. I, I knew Fu Yong from my very first year because we were in the same freshman hostel. And the way I remember it is, uh, in the first week or first month, all the freshmen had to do some kind of talent in the front yard, and he sang. And that was the first and the last time I heard him sing. I don't know why he did, but he actually <laughs> sang. <laughs> and. I was always very interested in sports and active participation and watching. So I was involved in sports right from my first year. I played cricket for the institute in my first year. And from then on, I was part of the cricket team, not, not a strong player, but one of those also rants and be part of the team. Uh, my stronger point was in track. I ran the longer races, 1500 and 5000. So I was in the the first, my first year, the IIT meet was held in Madras. I was not part of the team. My, I was part of the team from my second, third, fourth, and fifth years. So those meets were held in the other IITs. So the, it was. So I was able to see IIT Mumbai, and that time it's called IIT Bombay, IIT Delhi, IIT Kanpur, and IIT Kharagpur. And those were just wonderful memories because uh, for each of the inter IIT meets, we would have uh, several weeks of intense coaching here and during those days uh, we would just eat and sleep and practice sports. We were fed very nutritious, high yeah, I was quality about to food. say that. <laughs> yeah. I think one of the reasons for integrity was the fact that they used to get better food at that time than they used to get in the mess. <laughs> so that was one incentive for going for integrity if I am not mistaken. We was must... that an incentive? No, it, plus it, it is it is a camaraderie. You get to see the other IITs, huh. and it is a lot of fun, and it is a lot of memories. So, yeah. so it, we took it seriously, and the coaching was done by professional coaches from the city. And uh, after that, we would. So, my best memory is when we were in IIT Delhi for the meet. We went and saw the Taj Mahal. They took us as a group, 
uh, IIT Kanpur, they had a flying club and the flying club had gliders. So we had the option to go and experience one of those. So many of us went to the flying club and actually were in a glider. And the glider is a two-seater with the pilot in front and you sitting behind. So there is a, they have an airstrip. So there is a jeep that winches the glider and takes you up and you're just floating around for about 10 minutes and then it comes in for a landing and that is an amazing experience. And the pilot asks you if you're brave enough, he can do a loop the loop with you inside. And I, I wasn't brave enough to do that. I think it was part of IIT Kanpur sledging. So see that you don't win the inter IIT. I mean, okay. I mean so these are all just sledging, okay. But in spite of that, you continue to win the inter IIT. Yeah, many times, right? I, uh, from till from nineteen from nineteen seventy one to nineteen eighty one, IIT Madras won the inter IIT overall championship ten years in a row, and every other IIT was jealous of that. So they were hoping that we would lose our crown in every meet, but we kept winning. And in in a later at a later time, I'll explain how we lost the the strip the success the successful string, uh, but now I think it's time for me to say, give the stage to him to, yeah, to, yeah. to elaborate on. No, no, I mean, uh, he's uh, uh, on a personal level before we get into the institute thing, he's being very, I think uh, he's being a little modest. He was known as the Yesudas of our batch because he would sing uh, Perfectly like Yesudas at that time. I don't think uh, he, he, he'll never mention it, but he sang Yesudas songs for us many times. Am I right? Yeah. He, he used yeah. to sing the Hindi songs, if not the Malayalam songs. That's one more facet. Uh, see, IIT gave you that scope and I don't, uh, a lot of people were given due recognition of their extracurricular activities. I think they are, I can't say about now, but at that time, uh, you could be a singer, you could, you could do many things along with your studies and uh, you had plenty of opportunity to do all these things and uh, I got into quizzing by sheer accident because some fellow asked a question, three questions and I couldn't answer so I said I will start mugging up those things at least. Got into quizzing and without realizing that quizzing was a fairly big event in uh, within IIT, I mean so within IIT Madras and across. Uh, at least in Chennai, in those days, uh, I think you could, there were not many intercity events. But within Chennai, we remained top as long as we were there. And uh, we had uh, a faculty member who is still here on the campus, Professor Subramaniam. Uh, he was our faculty, I mean, one of the few events where the faculty fellow was there with us wholesale apart from sports and he would help us a lot, come at night to us, sit with us, do the whole program from start to finish. And so it remained an event which, see for example in those those days, no other event other than a quiz, no other cultural event, not sports so was a different ball game altogether. No other cultural event other than the quiz was allowed to go beyond 10 o'clock. I know, I believe nowadays you have a way beyond 10 o'clock in those days because the faculty and the students both were involved. This event was allowed to go up till 12 o'clock in the open air theatre because these, the central lecture theatre couldn't accommodate uh, uh, so many people. I was lucky enough to be part of that uh, uh, program for uh, so many years and uh, yeah and he was Again, in that capacity, he was the man who was to write the sports questions, okay. I mean like the knowledge man about not just running, but everything about sports was uh, Bala's uh, domain. And uh, I didn't run, but I used to read his thing and learn, get a lot of gyan about sports from that. And uh, uh, one more thing I would say was there were, I wouldn't say there were, there are some innovations that we did. I am told they are still continuing here in the open air theatre. More about that later. Uh, but uh, 
they were uh, yeah you should tell something about uh, the interity meet uh, which you went to and uh, yeah. and it's, it's probably one of the most interesting interity meets uh, <laughs> <that> we <have. laughs> well as uh, i said uh, uh, i was interested in a lot of things and the institute gave people the scope to really do what you want if you are interested in quiz for example you could become the best quiz master or come up with the best quiz questions uh, i like singing so i sang for the hostel they used to be singing competitions and there was also a kerala association there would sing some malayalam songs so yeah singing was also part of my life and um, i used to sing eshuda songs both hindi and malayalam so um, the, there were a lot of sports activities happening on the campus inter hostel sports was a big deal there was an overall championship and what i felt was there was a campus magazine called campus times but that was mostly it was oriented, general it was yeah, general it was, in nature yeah it was mostly oriented towards poetry and nice it was of high quality but it did not cover sports so i felt that oh, i am a spectator so i thought let's come up with a uh, some sort of a informal sports magazine and i i had played cricket with the shiva shiva the shiva kumar of uh, tappi and so we were good friends so i just casually talked to him i think we should have some kind of magazine for sports and he said that is a great idea and shiva was he could move mountains so he said yeah so my job was to report as as many sports that i could report on and he did the same and he got the machinery in the ad block in the administration yeah. block I like think, the cyclo uh, styling and the uh, features and both of us were good at bad jokes or pjs and he pulled in someone named chandra mauli uh, who we refer to as mauli and he was also a very oh he is called mauli is it yeah okay. because spoke. you kept telling me chandra mauli i didn't even remember the name once you say it's mauli the yeah. face uh, comes in <laughs> yeah and uh, srinivasan dr professor srinivasan was also there right through the whole process right i mean he started uh, the den dean dean of students rs oh okay right i mean he was with you uh, uh, i mean i mean helping out all through the yeah uh, we, a to z so uh, mauli and us and shiva we were good up with coming up with the material on reporting on the scores and who did well and we we initiated a sportsman of the week award so in all interhostel sports every week would we would give a sportsman of the week award and explain why that person deserved the award uh, we also wanted to be an an anti campus times so they had their uh, byline as only news that's fit to print or something like the new york times so we said only news that's fit to cyclo style because we didn't have the sophisticated printing facilities really? that they had we went to the admin office where shiva was able to wrangle a typewriter with a stencil and we would sit and type and we would uh, on the weekends we would come up with enough copies to paste on the bulletin boards in every hostel and uh, if i i mean my memory says that on monday mornings if i am right spectator would be listen to first the scene first and you would read it from back to front right? everybody was curious to know whether they were the man of the week <laughs> yeah and uh, the mess table the breakfast table discussion was why this guy why not this guy i mean that used to take place but most of the time guys agreed with uh, who they said was the man of the week and uh, Uh, does the tradition still continue we'll have to find out but uh, it must be continuing in some form or the other but if even if the magazine doesn't exist so no. and uh, they did a i mean this man of the week thing was very keenly looked to after some time people started discussing on fridays i, I remember uh. i this match happened do you think this guy will be man of the week uh. or this guy whatever i mean you did not know because you were busy printing So oh, about the discuss, discussion yeah, yeah. used to discuss yeah so another thing why we we were of course we felt that we were we, we weren't actively competing against campus times because we were on you know we were not doing what they were doing they were doing the literary side but they were not consistent in coming out it on time so we said we will come out with our spectator every monday so we called it every monday is spectator day 
So come hell or high water, during the weekends, we always managed to somehow get it out so that on Monday morning when people came to the bulletin board of the hostel, they would see spectator. And um, Shiva, Mauli and myself, we all had a weird PJ sense of humor, bad jokes, so there were a lot of bad jokes in, in it. And so we enjoyed writing the material. And this is 2022 and people may not realize that in 1977 there were no Xerox machines. I don't know if there were, but it's not available to students. There was something called cyclo styling. So every weekend Shiva would somehow get the key to the admin block. So he was good at getting those. Negotiating the yeah, getting, bureaucratic getting, structure. Yeah, yeah, bureaucratic structure. And he was very good. He's very good. And uh, he became CEO of Pepsi India. I can see why <laughs> he, he was good at those. Kind. And so he would get, sometimes you'd print on colored paper and he can procure that. So the first, uh, we would have to get stencils and type everything and then cyclo style. So we, that was, so that quote unquote journalism was another facet of your, oh, that you could develop. Um, sports was from a health point of view, it was good. We had something called a road race held every year. The first 10 people got uh, medals. And I was happy to get uh, at least the third place right from my first year to the end. So I have a collection of medals from that. The road race was very popular. It was one of the first events. This ba these bad jokes, uh, uh, I mean, we had a very uh, hefty personality who weighed uh, around uh, a little over 100 kg in our batch. And sure enough, at the end of the year, Spectator gave him the All-Rounder of the Year award, okay. It took some time for the joke to even sink in, okay. Why is this guy being called All-Rounder, okay. Later on it sunk in, this guy was, no, I can't name him because he's still a good friend of ours and, I uh, know, uh, there were two guys and they said this place is shared with great difficulty by A and B. And only thing we realized later on that both were, uh, you know, they couldn't go through the door simultaneously. So, the spectators all around of the year was given, I can quote even after 40 years, uh, this place was shared with difficulty, with difficulty in quotes <laughs> by X and Y. Okay, he, he's probably forgotten, I can tell you the yeah. names later. In fact, I remember only one name, no? The guy is still an all-rounder, okay? <laughs> he's lost about 20 kg, but he's still an all-rounder. But I, I, you know, when he says bad jokes, they were not bad jokes, they were semi, I mean, they were classy in their own way. And uh, people really, I mean, people used to look forward for those jokes. Okay. So, I, that, that was a very good time they had in this uh, journalistic field and people got, actually people who didn't, uh, I can tell you from my experience, people who didn't uh, really follow sports started following sports yeah. and vice versa. I mean, sometimes you covered the cultural scene also and uh, people started reading the sports guys started reading part of that and cultural guys actually took some interest in Schreiter. No, we came, uh, one, so the, if you want to say called cultural, uh, the, in every issue I had a, something called Buck Quiz, which was all a bunch of sports questions. Mm -hmm. uh, so that was a, a few sports questions. But d during our well-known Kokhle Rajaya, Gerald showed a basketball tournament, which is held every year. We came up with special issue you know, every day. It was not every Monday because that tournament was uh, held over several days. So every day we would come out with an issue with the results. And as he said, one side effect we, of having. We should ask Kumaran whether he has those issues also. Yeah, I got we, we one of them. Yes. Everyday issues. Yeah, I, I have one of them. Okay. So one of the side effects of having this magazine was that, as he said, a lot more people. Became, became, interested, into, yeah. became interested in sports because they knew, oh, the Ganga is playing Tapti in football today or they knew these, uh, they were aware, they became aware of these activities and events. So it generated more interest in events. Uh, there were cheerleaders. Actually, we gave one of our people yeah, in good. Ganga the, the cheerleader <laughs> award. Oh, I don't yeah. remember his name, but, uh, but he, well, he, can, he, at least can you remember the reason why he was called a cheerleader? He was just sheer enthusiasm. He would That's come to every. Oh yeah, match. I remember the guy. He would he would come to every event. He would not know the result, but he knew he cheered for Ganga. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you yeah, ask was... him. You ask him which match it was. Uh, match. 
Ganga, I was there cheering for Ganga. That was my duty. I mean, and he was not otherwise. He was an academic. Yeah. He was not a sports into guy. So the specter. I mean, although this magazine ran, I don't know whether it ran after we left, but uh, it had a very high level of uh, uh, expectations. Okay, expectations and uh, I mean readership. Okay. I mean, it's unusual that uh, a magazine right from the word go, people started reading it. So, I think that was a good job and sometimes I feel bad that, that just at least if not the magazine it itself, at least the way it was written is not coming out in mm. these days. The fifth estate, right? If I'm, fifth estate is the magazine uh, which is there. I keep reading it online and I try to look even try to look for whether somebody is reporting it the way you reported in a not me, me, Shiva, uh, Shiva and yeah. Yeah. You, I wish those you two, as a, I wish those two were here. Yeah, Shiva is very Shiva is very I mean he had an in-depth knowledge of all these things also. So I guess yeah, he did a good job and uh, but I think uh, people are interested to know about your uh, you are famous for a tenure as sports secretary for many reasons. So I think you should talk a little bit of that also. So as I said, I was actively participating in sports, in many different sports as at the hostel level, cricket, track, football, hockey, and I don't know, I can't even remember, I don't know if I played badminton maybe last year, but a lot of sports. So uh, it was somewhat natural to become sports secretary of my hostel. And one of the things I did was, uh, in those days, each hostel had its own mess. So I, I felt that we should memorialize the victories of the hostel. So in the mess, I came up with a huge board, a huge wooden board where all the Ganga victories over the previous three or four years were mentioned, where we came first, second or third, you know, volleyball, football, whatever. And we had a list of those victories and I had left a huge amount of empty space for the future. Uh -huh. And I was eager to go see what it looked like now, but they said that you hostels yeah, don't the have hostel mess. zone has changed completely. Yeah. They don't have a common room and a mess in the first place. So, uh, so I don't know where that went. So, so as I said, the institute gives you the ability to develop, you know, in sports, in sports reporting, if you can call that, in singing, uh, the cultural, uh, the cultural area was very active. And, uh, then, uh, in my last year, I was. Sports Secretary of the Institute and uh, the inter IIT meet was in Kharagpur and because it was their silver jubilee year or something like that? Something I don't like know, that? It, it rotated. I, huh? uh, oh, I don't remember whether it was silver jubilee yeah. year, is it? Yeah, oh. it could be something like that, yeah. So, mm. uh, but it's not relevant, it was there. Yeah. It was at Kharagpur, yeah. So, uh, there we lost the general championship for the first time in 11 years. And that was. Would you really say you lost? Or you lost no, because of a technical we were, Yeah, I, it was eventually handed over. I can elaborate on the story. Yeah, so, you should. I think you should do that because. Uh, yeah, that. So everything depend depended on the last day. The 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 inter IIT meets. Uh, there were five IITs at that time, so the inter IIT meets lasted I think three or four days. And the final day had all the relay events, the 4x100, 4x400, etc. And on the last day, all the teams met, after all the events were over, the teams met in the field and all the medals were handed out. And after that, we would all go for a long communal dinner where we mixed and talked to people from other IITs. Because till then, each IIT contingent kept to itself. You know, they would go to... Everyone eat, would eat in a common mess, but the group would go by themselves and there was not much mixing between teams. <coughs> in December 1981, at the 18th inter IIT meet, everything hinged on the relay races. So there was a race where IIT Madras, uh, we were strong, so we knew we, we would come first. And the whole thing, the whole calculation was that Bombay should not come second. So as long as Bombay would not come second, <laughs> IIT Madras would win the championship. Now you know why we got to the JE. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remember Chandu, the captain of the basketball team, he was 
very actively involved in the computations and i have an, given an audio clip to kumaran where you can hear him and i discussing and he shows oh this happens this happens so we had all the calculations down now what happened in the relay can i can i interrupt yeah. did you ever come across and see a recent movie called chichore no I it's know. almost uh, oh that's between inter hostels yeah but it's almost a replay of uh, the inter it the way you describe it mm. each game saying this guy has to come second in this this team has to come fourth in this and it it's a very nostalgic movie and if you haven't seen it take time out to see it mm. and uh, but as a slightly different it was not uh, actually in this case re re what do you call it uh, real life outperformed uh, real life so in this relay race what happened was madras and bombay were in adjacent lanes and the the madras runner the, the bombay runner dropped the baton so the next runner who had to get it he was disappointed he had a disappointed look but anyhow the bombay runner picked up the baton kept running and what happened was so bombay fell behind iit madras had perfect baton passes so they passed the bombay runner and when the third bombay runner got the baton he was the the second madras runner was kind of trailing okay. away like he was okay. slowing down and then what happened was there were people from the bombay contingent all along the track cheering on their team mm. so people claim that some even got onto the track and that may have pushed the bombay runner to run close to the lane on that side and the shoulder accidentally hit the madras runner who had already given the baton and was just slowing down and the madras runner fell on the track and that hit the bombay runner so the bombay team could not complete the race so they were supposed so, to come second they came fourth is it no they like? didn't yeah they came last so they upset they, your calculations no we won because they that's, didn't come second right uh, you, you bombay didn't they complete shouldn't come second yeah okay so uh. bombay didn't even come to third because okay. they they guy in and so they, they yeah they came last so so we thought yes we had won and how the the amount of trouble we took inspector to to explain we had a picture of the whole track we and we pointed out where exactly the baton exchanges took place where the collision took place all well marked and we had a detailed explanation of what happened so bombay people protested saying madras deliberately did this and so there was a huge protest saying that madras should be disqualified and the race should be run again without madras and of course this we didn't accept because yeah, everything we didn't do it but eventually the the committees you know the committees are made of the pta's of five iit so i guess majority rules so they decided to rerun the race without madras so this was the first thing that got us angry so the race was run without madras and the race ended and still we thought oh, we had won so you ran the race without madras madras yeah no, i remember thing but i need to refresh my memory yeah so the race right. was rerun without madras okay then there was one more race the 4 by 100 i think and madras easily won that if i remember so we thought yes we had won even with that second time yeah We, we first had, time you thought you had won now again you thought you had won yeah, yeah because yeah. we calculated the points and uh, we still had won chandu or oh, chandu and we had a group uh, <laughs> chandu was part of the group chandu <laughs> me i think tom george was there he was yeah, a first. general secretary mm -hmm. so every, and uh, we thought we had won but then one of the officials said no their calculation shows that bombay had won and we wondering what happened he said that in team events uh -huh. instead of giving 10 6 2 for first second and third they had decided to give 10 6 2 1 like even the fourth place team gets a point oh, changing the goal posts as it were that's what we felt because mm. all in in all the individual events gold gets 5 silver gets 3 and bronze gets 1 point and similar in team events like badminton team event or uh, relay races the points were 10 6 and 2 so that was how it was run all these years so all our calculations were based on that oh, but yeah they took a hit okay uh -huh. yeah so one of the pts know at the last meeting we decided to give a point to the fourth place team and based on if that had been done then bombay would win the overall championship by 5.5 by 5 half points. a point 
half a point. And it was run like the Olympics, you know, you calculate the total number of points you get. And um, so we felt that this was collusion among IITs to dethrone Madras. So everyone was upset. And when all the teams gathered in the field, IIT Madras decided that they would not go and accept the medals because the, all the teams had gathered, they were calling medals, you know, 300, 100 meters, gold medal, you know, so on. So if it was from Madras, we were not going and receiving our medals. So our director and our uh, Professor Indiresan, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and the faculty member in charge of sports, Dr. Surjit Singh, Surjit they were Singh, there. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, Great Surjit Singh, yeah. And the late Surjit Singh, yeah, very, what a nice man. And we were, we were the host, Madras was going to be the host next year. So, as you would see in the Olympics, the flag is handed over to the next, next host. Next host, yeah. yeah. So, uh, our professors, our, all, all the big shots from Madras were there to receive that. And our director got mad at us for not going and receiving the medals. So, they stopped the medal ceremony. And Halfway through? I think they realized when none of the Madras people called were coming that there was something wrong. So they stopped the medal ceremony and um, our director came and talked to us and people shouted, no sir, they just, uh, so talking to the whole group didn't make a difference. So then he called me aside, he pulled me aside, I hear saying, I hear these shouts on the tape, he said, Bucket, the Dara wants to talk to you. So. So that we talked to me privately and uh, the photography club had come and documented everything. They took photographs and there were people with audio tapes. There was no video at that there time. There was no I video at that time. Yeah. So audio was the closest you could get. So they recorded all the conversation going on between me and the director. And the director was angry saying that, see, he is the only director there. And uh, he's being embarrassed by his institute. His own institute. His yeah. own institute. So he says... If you don't go and receive the medals, then this is the last time I'll we'll send a team for the entire team. This is it. So I had people telling me, saying, Bucket, please let's go receive the mess medals because you're damaging the institute and so on. But and next then, year was the 25th for IIT, I think. Oh, is it? Uh -huh. Yeah, 83, 84. So there's an additional reason not to push the thing mm. further. Yeah, 83 was the beginning of the 25th year, yeah. So then what they dis when but still when people were shouting saying no 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 so then they had a meeting of the big officials and then the director came and told us that they had taken a decision not to make a decision about the general championship they just want to give out the medals they wouldn't say who won the general championship so based on that the madras contingent uh, went and received their medals we went for the for dinner everything was nice and late at night they decided that the championship would be given to Bombay. So that was that championship was not given at the official ceremony. It was just uh, informally decided. Um, now, the commotion that was created uh, was so bad. The last day of the race, uh, I would say what happened was when our runner who fell, one of the officials of the, I think it was a Bombay official, it was uh, either, either the, a professor, I think was in charge of sports. He came and almost assaulted the guy. Oh. Yeah, and uh, uh, you know, Sidhu, uh, no, Ramesh, T.R. Ramesh, the hockey player, he literally extracted uh, this, this runner guy, from gotcha. the crowd. They were all going to physically, including a professor, which was, so all these, uh, yeah, all these unsports, I mean, this shocked. Heated, heated. Uh, yeah. yeah, shocked everyone. And they made an announcement. Uh, Dr. Surjit Singh gave the speech during the medal ceremony and they said that I think we should consider not having a general championship because yeah. it is causing so much unhappiness. We just have individual sports, give the medals and not have a general championship. So it was very bad. And um, so we report that in Spectator. Uh, I think that Spectator had about 10 pages. It was very That's long. Uh, Everything very was elaborate. Detailed. Yeah. yeah. So that was my last inter IIT meeting. <laughs> but uh, I, I, I was unhappy that it ended that way. Uh, that uh, that inter IIT meet uh, had a comment uh, that spectator issue gave you some award, which essentially said, see, said that the sleepiest uh, something to do with your sleep because apparently, I mean, somebody else 
gave you an award for not sleeping right throughout the tournament. I can't remember what award that was. Oh, mm-hmm. Maybe if you go through the spectator issues, mm. this award goes to Bucket for. Can't remember the name of the award, uh, but it's in, because I'm not having probably a busy calculating along with Chandu. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All the scores. <laughs> so the award was given to you for not sleeping throughout the tournament. I don't know whether Shiva gave it. Shiva was quite likely to have given you that award. She, yeah, yeah the, the, she, she was part of the tennis team also, so yeah. he was there. And um, by the way, spectator correspondents went and reported on things. And I was so. By the way, spectator also allowed other people other than Shiva, Mali, and myself to write, and we had them as correspondents, so they had received their credits in the bylines. And uh, after that, what happened? I mean, like right, after you came back. That year we went to Warangal. Do you remember? We had a cultural and sports. Oh, those meet. we you would regularly go for these uh, uh, cultural events and uh, IIT Madras. Okay, while well, it's not cannot be equated with the inter IIT thing, and guys were scared of an IIT, uh, you know, uh, IIT team coming anywhere into their competitions because uh, in many of the okay many of the events IIT would the IIT would have a clear advantage because. These events were being held in a very competitive atmosphere here within our uh, campus. You know, the just a minute, any, any mm, event, yeah. uh, quiz being one of them, one of them. And uh, I remember going to all these places and uh, literally saying, why did you come? And they, they call you and then they say, why did you come? Mm. So, quiz was a strong point and I just, this background that you see here, this this is the open air theatre. It had only three extracurricular activities at that time. Okay, excluding movies, only three events. One was the basketball, basketball tournament. tournament, full crowd. And you had the quiz only in this place. What you see here, a very fixed frame screen here. This, this is 70 mm. I am not very sure, but uh, okay, let us take it for that purpose. Those days there was no frame like this. There used to be some huge, uh, the whole frame used to be moved on trolleys. I mm. mean, uh, mm. the whole thing and uh, the frame was somewhere where you see the screen. So from there to where you see these patches, the patches there because the slide could be only be thrown only up to that distance. So the whole thing would take entirely the whole morning. Uh, to the afternoon just to push the thing right up to that point and then equal amount of time to push it back and that was the only time the screen was pushed forward for any event other than, uh, I mean otherwise it was being used for a movie and uh, the whole place used to be jam packed and uh, my predecessor started putting uh, color TV screens all over the place right from where you are seeing the, yeah, I mean from that entrance to that place so that uh, we moved away from the screen and started showing it on those small, small, uh, mm. small, small screens at that time. So the, I mean, we had no choice but to hold it there because CLT doors apparently had broken some time back when they tried to hold the event there. Mm. And uh, did you know about that? A no. couple of once CLT doors broke. After that, they played it safe. Uh, they didn't break; or they probably came off the hinges. I mean, broke is a exaggeration. And uh, they, then they said, "No, nothing doing." We'll, rather play with these screens, it's cheaper to repair a screen than a CLT door. So hmm. they moved the whole quiz into this uh, open air theatre. And the quizzes were… I don't know, I mean uh, Kumaran if he is around here, he will be able to tell us whether these programs are still being held uh, in the uh, open air theatre. The quiz uh, situation has changed a lot. But is it still in the open air? Th- or is it gone to SAC nowadays probably? Uh, it's probably in SAC, yes. And it's yeah. all split into multiple, multiple areas. Multiple yeah. I don't know whether I'm repeating myself, but this was the only event allowed to go beyond 12 o'clock only because of Professor Subramaniam and a lot of staff used to come and sit there. And some music shows, of course. I'm not saying that. But this was only. This is during the event called Mardi Gras. Okay, Mardi Gras, the name came because uh, Mardi Gras in Latin means Shrav Tuesday, which essentially means that it's the last day you can eat meat. 
Okay, this is a bit of quiz trivia. Shrove Tuesday, Shrove Mardi Gras literally means Shrove Tuesday. And that was the last day any Christians by their tradition could eat meat. After that, 40 days of fasting till Lent, I think Easter or something. And it was very apt because immediately after Mardi Gras, your fun is over. Go back to your uh, exams, to your uh, everything. I mean, I don't know which which guy started this, but he had a pro probably was an editor of Spectator in some of his earlier days no. to have this wicked sense of humor to call it Mardi Gras. So that <laughs> you've done with it, now you go back to your studies. And Mardi Gras so, existed well before Spectator started. I said some guy with a wicked <laughs> sense of humor of a Spectator editor must have given the, my theory is would have given the name Mardi Gras. Okay. Had he existed in some earlier avatar, you would have, you would have uh, he must have named it Mardi Gras. I mean, that's my... Yeah. And uh, the IIT yeah. Madras quiz was of such high quality. You know, usually, we are used to having quiz, just someone read a question and someone give an answer. Yeah, but yeah. IIT came up with, uh, IIT quizzes had visuals, you know, you would see photos or you would see, uh, and we also had audio clips. Yeah. So it was a multimedia before multimedia yeah, actually got, became, became a name. A yeah. Name, yeah. Yeah. And uh, Professor Subramaniam was part of the people behind the scene, and we even had someone with a very expensive sound system. Someone yeah, borrowed he, from Bangalore. Someone? No, this was uh, Professor Subramaniam's own uh, in-laws, oh. and he had uh, what could be called these Bose. System. He was the only guy who had the, both the recording as well as the. So somehow, I like I sometime earlier I said he he was another person who could cut corners, find the right guy, and you want that tape, it will be yeah uh, that guy's got it. You would bring it, and I mean we wanted that as a question, but we had no clue where to get it. Um, uh, uh, Professor Subramaniam, okay, uh, he was there with us after 9:30 in the night. He was there with us, and he would get all this material for us. You want, remember, I don't know how many people watching this have ever heard. I did a quiz about 20 years later for another organization in my hometown, and everybody was looking at those slides. You no, know, people in the PPT zamana, no one has any concept that there is something called a slide and a slide projector. The slides used to be sent from where now the current projector is in the open air theater, and that also he they were not allowed, but somehow. You would find the rule, just stay within the rules, but somehow managed to get the slide projector into the complex. Okay, and uh, something he used to do, he used to he was he was there very much, and uh, when we were there, and uh, and uh, like he says, it was multimedia and it was live also, and he he had a theater group which would come and actually enact plays. Okay. They would enact plays and uh, questions used to be on them. And uh, people would read out passages and uh, I mean, it was a weird uh, thing. I mean, people nowadays haven't seen that, but it was a done thing and people would come all over the place just to watch this program. Yeah, quiz, IIT quizzes were extremely popular. popular. You would think that something like uh, uh, asking questions and getting answers would not be of that interest. but. The OAT was always packed. That was one of the most popular events during Mardi Gras, the quiz competition. They would. Uh, Did you talk about uh, other team members? Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, he's there. One is sitting I, I did right the here. most of the sports stuff, so because that was my area of expertise. Similarly, there were people in other areas of expertise, like See, music. Uh, people the came up with ragas and. Ragas and all that. And uh, I'll, I'll give you, I mean, these things were fun in their own way. Uh, uh, since uh, you're talking on members, there's there's one uh, person called Jai Thomas who was one or two years our junior, and he was uh, the man. Very few people know that he was an excellent quizzer, and uh, and uh, he held the fort for two or three years after we left. And uh, Jai Thomas was, like, I mean, one or two years when in my time there was another guy called Sukumaran. Patabi Raman, all these people still maintained this interest till quite some, I mean, once they went abroad and all that, I guess, but they still maintain interest in the, but they still say, yeah, once in a while, we want to come back here and sit in this uh, open air theatre. If, if not, that's why I asked whether the thing is still there. They are not interested in the sack. 
they want to sit in the right. open air theater as if they are watching a movie we have some photographs yeah i'm probably 84 if you have that and uh, they they come back they came back once or twice and the first question they would ask us is it still in i'm asking you this they used to ask is it still in the oat oat yeah, yeah. badami mm, mg yeah. badami i mean then you had uh, uh, patabi raman then you had joy thomas and uh, yeah i mean practically everybody was there in some form or the other but uh, that's i know you were the journalist you should tell me who the people were <laughs> <laughs> okay i remember the, and the, and the question the questions were interesting like maybe you would, they would play a tune a song or something and you would expect the question to be you know who is the singer or which movie is it from now the question would be on what raga is it based <laughs> yeah the the most <laughs> extreme case of this sort of question was see a, a little brief hindustani ragas are supposed to be played at a particular time okay at a particular time now there was this very anglicized quiz master and it's not professor subramani one of our own uh, own uh, students uh, he poor chap he didn't know what, what he was letting himself for and he was given these questions and uh, he 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 asked at what time is this raga played mm-hmm. okay fine till now it's very innocent now at that time the most popular karna uh, uh, classical music program remember at that time only all india radio was there that used to explain in hindi not in english ye gana ye rag raat ke third quarter whatever it was in hindi it's a prahar for the technical term none of the participants knew when it was going to be played but they were just parroting ah uh, ye subah ka teesra pahar mein the next team would say raat ka dusra pahar and this guy didn't know what language they were speaking then he said guys give me a break say something in english <laughs> say something <laughs> in english so i mean you had these odd uh, movements uh, and there's the funniest part of it was Uh, quiz was expensive in one way because we would spend a lot of money on eclairs okay eclairs <laughs> if the <laughs> students didn't answer some guy in the audience he would actually I, i recollect once the guy still remembers me only because of that the guy came and grabbed the eclair from my hand saying no my answer is correct <laughs> on some technicality he said this is my answer so even now when i meet him i remind him he says forget it yaar you know after 30 years forget that i did that <laughs> okay and uh, yeah it was interesting in a way so like you said it was not just quizzes and reading guys had their own uh, and the punch cards and the punch <laughs> cards oh yeah yeah thanks for the punch cards i don't know i, I was looking around for these punch cards uh, two or three days back and uh, i mean many people may not know these punch cards were the computer cards and uh, after they were run through the mainframe uh, the algorithm system in the computer center they found the only use they found was that you used to write the questions on the other side do you have any of them still with you no so when i ask everybody i mean just for a yeah. sample because i don't think even the computers uh, engineers knew that you could put this card to such a use <laughs> okay i mean they probably would be mortified to know that you are writing trivia on the Yeah. other side but yeah we had fun keeping them and uh, using them and uh, see their thick paper stock they would stack very well, well yeah they were, they're yeah. quite useful like i mean so buying postcards we found that easy to use those uh, cards and i don't know if i'm right on this because i don't have any training in classical music but one of the things i remember is there was a well known song that goes like oh sajna yeah 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 bar ka baha see he sings huh. so they asked what is the uh, raga of this and the raga was in the lyrics bah i think it's bahar, bahar yeah, yeah. bar ka baha <laughs> so i don't know that one i don't know anything but i know that that song is bahar so those are the questions so it was it was so interesting to every question you know so this the quiz competition wouldn't put you to sleep one of the things i remember best is in my last year see the intraday sports meet was just sports and we, the, the i think there were cultural meets but i was in part of that now in the last year they had a regional cultural meet in rac warangal it was cultural plus sports i think spring spree yeah, yeah. they called it spring spree yeah and so we had a sports not not, a, not a, i mean 
we had better names for the yeah. festivals okay yeah okay. but i don't remember what it was but we went to rsc warang there was a cultural team plus a sports team and uh, that is the only time i represented iit culturally i sang hotel california and i, mm. I don't think i did badly but i couldn't get a recording of that song i wish i had there was instrumental backing so uh, yeah but that is the only time we had a cultural plus sports uh, contingent yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah i think you were there you? no we had a very strong music contingent led by professor ganesh also at, at that time and i mean i can't say what happened after we left but as long as we were there this uh, music contingent of uh, professor ganesh i believe he kept singing almost till his retirement days i have seen mm. videos so of that he became a professor he 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 is a professor he was a very popular professor here oh. and i have seen videos of him singing uh, with the special zura heap he specialized oh, he, in zura heap zura heap and all that see uh, he went past that and he started singing many other things but uh, oh. i remember uh, when this cultural team went to the singing team went to iit delhi they used to call it rendezvous mm. they saw this bunch of what were called uh, you know by the derogatory name northerners used to remember south people hey kya kya gana gaya and all that when they started singing this is what uh, that campus times reported okay mm. spectator was it it reported that there was a shock silence from the audience in iit delhi they could not digest the fact that a south team could sing a western song to perfection mm you are right yes mm yeah okay and uh, they became nation nationwide famous if not nationwide most of the time some of them are uh, still active they come in this uh, iit what do you call it you had this virtual meet mm uh, recently at uh, the uh, diamond jubilee 2019 or 2020 Carty and all these people, they still play for IIT when called for, mm. but in the virtual mode. They don't get together here. So that they, that bond that they had at that time still continues, and uh, including Ganesh, mm. I don't know, he retired recently, two years mm. back. And those, I mean, they were the days when they had a strong team. They like had a very strong team in all the cultural areas. Philip Simon, uh, Dimple. Philip Simon, yeah. the dimple was there then karu was there karu, yeah. we had the national saxophone player from sri lanka yeah the jayalal jayalal veera surya he is uh, now in, in uh, australia and uh, whenever i whatsapp with him i keep telling him you have to come back once and demonstrate to iit uh, what i mean he is he comes to india so i keep telling him come here yaar and ek bar play once and show what you guys were and all yeah But that was uh, karunanidhi karunanidhi ganesh karunanidhi let's yeah. not confuse him with jayalal wow nitish kati Ra- rajesh rati on the that was like uh, like a dream team in america yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's like, like olympic like, basketball dream team you know the best yeah, <laughs> dream team yeah <laughs> best they, vocals they were... best guitarist yeah so these were the cultural things and uh, i were you involved in this framing of this constitution for the Thing. because yeah, i think see, tom george was involved yeah tom george was there tom george was there because what happened the match before us some uh, goodal of some sort took place in electing uh, the people or something or the wrong guy got in i mean i can't recollect suddenly our fellows felt the need for a constitution indresan wanted a constitution mm-hmm. he said this will not do this haphazard method for him everything was haphazard this haphazard method will not do so let's have a constitution no one had any clue how to write it and uh, ptm mm. pt manoharan poor chap he was dragged into this he also didn't have a clue no one had a clue but somehow you know it took uh, I, i was it was still a work in progress when i left and uh, three years down the line finally they had some working thing of the constitution mm. and uh, maybe after the year after we left and uh, now i believe if you see the students constitution nowadays i mean you'll think you're reading the constitution of india no oh, they, they have made it that elaborate mm. i think it was very simple whom only the modes of whom you elect and uh, how do you remove them that was the only thing mm. 
and who has the right to spend what money it was very even that took 2 years for the senate to approve see mm. then uh, indrasen said uh, professor indrasen said this will not do mm. you can't do what you want whatever you has to be done has to be the senate has to give the if if i am going to talk to you you have to be approved by the mm. institute mm. body uh. so everybody said can yeah, no problem i will do it in 2 months apparently the whole exercise went into through two deans mm. before it uh, gotten and then it was sort of cast in stone i mean then the guys people like a sports secretary then actually had leg- legitimacy mm. official legitimacy mm. after this thing started and uh, it was not perfect but i guess uh, it's now continuing and uh, mm. it's a good thing i was there it has become all, more perfect now yeah yeah <laughs> I, I, yeah it's become more perfect if you can call it that so i was lucky to be part of that uh, chota mota things were done on and uh, yeah no one this. thing i don't want to forget to mention is the, the we have a very well known basketball tournament uh, there was german professor gerard fischer who donated a trophy and every year the basketball tournament would become a bigger and bigger event with floodlet theme, and floodlet in floodlet. and it OIT, was o- oit was flood oh german consulate general Yeah oh sorry general consul general in chennai donated a trophy and we had teams from as far as delhi bombay uh, from all over the country literally coming and playing i don't know how it was it last a week but they stayed with us and they played and um, in my of course being so sports secretary i had to find sponsors so in my last year i me and other people went with the begging bowl to all the companies willing to you know we said they could put their posters in return for money so there was a lot of fundraising to be done so i learned how to beg for money as a sports <laughs> felt that when you really you know, feel yeah, humble yeah. you know who were the happiest during the garat fisher kokila raja trophy no. the mess workers uh. because the mess would be empty by 7:15 uh, everybody go would uh, go for that i mean it would be empty but half empty if not more than half empty so, and uh, does an event for the city because uh, even for the city because with all the sports pages of indian express and hindu results would come out as a big yeah, yeah big i mean event. i remember i remember some guy saying sir this trough this this tournament must be there every month sir <laughs> <laughs> i asked him why and he said sir one thing was you guys just you don't notice what you are eating in the evening you mm. come quickly eat uh. and you there's a short break between the women's uh, the women's thing used to happen first right yeah. kokla raja kokla raja just happened Kokla-Raja first Kokla-Raja and then the men's events used to take over yeah. so there was a short break of uh, 20 minutes 30 minutes and most of the entu guys would choose that to go quick they wouldn't even notice what they were eating uh-huh. complaints were not there mess workers used to go back <laughs> to their <laughs> thing only so they were very happy and of course the rest of the people also the basketball uh, yeah the sports guys also would really i mean that's my recollection of uh, the non sports part of it i mean not the begging oh, okay. part of it uh, i mean getting this sponsor but I, did you get sponsors finally yeah we did we did get sponsors but uh, one thing to remember is that it was not just local teams we had local call but we had people from bangalore and all it calcutta delhi so we had literally it was an all in it became bigger and bigger each year i don't know if it is still going on and how big it is but by the way this is the first time i, I left the school in 1982 and 2022 is the first time i'm coming back so i haven't some seen events, yeah. i haven't some seen events. yeah uh, in uh, the so i haven't seen iit or chennai in 40 years and of course everything has changed so i don't know how big the tournament is they still have it or something equivalent but that was a event it was a big event in the city in the call the firmament of college sports yeah, yeah and uh, one one interesting thing about these cultural events is that i believe the cultural budget for just this uh, nowadays they call it saran uh, wow. saran okay some guy said this mardi gras is slightly uh, mardi gras is not a, uh, he is right in a way why should you keep a foreign name to a festival and he brought a name called saran the budget of saran was today is what the budget of iit was in those days oh wow get the point yeah even adjusted partly for uh, 
the inflation rate that uh, I mean let us say it is 100 crores and let us say ok nowadays 6, 875 crores is what uh, the director was saying 675 crores I am not saying it is 675 crores, but if you see the proportion mm. the amount of sponsorships they get even adjusted for real this thing was at least half of what was the IIT budget mm. they say wow. I mean I do not know. You can see the sponsorship you had to struggle for sponsorship, but nowadays they come, they come, yeah. they, come. Yeah. they just come and uh, I don't know we had a good time at that time and uh, you have anything to tell the current crowd about uh, what ideas you have for sports all said and done. I have not been in touch with the going on, goings on here for 40 years so I don't know. No, you see you have been in America. Yeah. You have seen, you must have seen college uh, sports there in some, oh. Hina is a graduate student. But the, but the sports, college sports in America is so uh, quote unquote oriented towards becoming professional and winning championship and I think we are an academic institution so I don't know. If is there anything we can learn from their, uh, uh, I, yeah I understand sports I, is a big I, thing there. Yeah, yeah but I think they spend way too much on sports because the sports coaches especially basketball and American football they earn many times what the head of the university makes but That's I don't know I don't know I don't think that can be replicated here yeah, yeah but uh, so if we become americanized that will eventually happen because they are more concerned about who wins the sports championship rather than, rather than a Nobel who gets prize. a Nobel race yeah. yeah I don't know if that's a good idea but um, no in terms of infrastructure funding or in terms of you know not necessarily yeah. you know. in my days the the infrastructure for sports was nothing compared to <laughs> we used to run on you know, bad tracks and my my goal as sports secretary was just to even get a, a couple of a cement tennis courts so that they wouldn't have to play on the clay plus a, a cement cricket pitch which was not much to ask for but it was better than playing on grass which had been rolled a couple of times with the ball hitting you on the face with, from odd bounces so uh, right now the, fin the sports facilities are like way way I couldn't even have dreamt of these. <laughs> you had a glimpse of this new sports complex yeah, uh, yeah. on the way to the hostel thing yeah. and the stadium. Yeah. Were they there at that time at this to this level? No. We had a good swimming pool that's all I remember. We had a decent swimming pool and I can't think of any other sports facilities which were of quote unquote any. Olympic big, stand. Yeah. yeah. Right. That's what any anything that uh, more you can suggest in a very general way. Um, no, certainly yeah. off the no. I think sports gives you a good break from. The, I mean, it, it, it's important. I found it helped my studies. Hmm. You know, it relaxes you, and every, I'm not going to spend time. Exp Planning, you know, good healthy body and a healthy mind uh, stuff, which, which I found. Another thing I learned at IIT was meditation. Um, <coughs> I learned meditation here from a, a lecturer in chemistry, and he was a very ardent uh, follower. And uh, I went for he, me and many others went to him for many sessions, and all he would ask for is a token of. A fruit like each, each time you go for a meditation session you give him a banana or a orange or something like that so I learned meditation here and I've been practicing it ever since helped me tremendously I learned yoga here on the roof of uh, I think Jamuna hostel yeah so Pushpanam was there yeah to, RK to, was there yeah yoga yeah. was a big thing yeah and we so then there are things that I learned here that I still do you know, after 40 years very regularly and I um, always look forward to when I learned it and how helpful it was. So when it, I mean I think all those activities generate some kind of sentimental attachment to the institute you know you're not just here to get a degree and get out but there are so many other things that you did that you develop a much bigger attachment to it than otherwise. I'm, I'm pretty sure for next generations also that would be the same thing if you're taking part in an event. Yeah, yes, academics is there, but this also carries its own bonding yeah. uh, afterwards. So, and yeah, I mean, like, 
this carry these uh, some of these things have their own halo even after you leave uh, hmm. the institute i mean you see your name is still known in the annals of uh, yeah nobody <laughs> knew me as balachandran <laughs> everybody knew me as bakit so uh, that 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 uh, I'll ever forever be known as Bucket. <laughs> yeah, you can't help it. No, there's nothing so, there. Uh. Yeah, I used to sign my name uh, as I would draw a bucket and write two two five Ganga because mm. my room was two hundred and twenty five Ganga, and everyone knew what it was. I didn't have to put or that yeah, was, that yeah, was like an autograph, yeah. like my trademark or whatever. And. Uh, uh, the. The last uh, one of my last questions, which I had in mind, was: Do you think that sports should be made compulsory? No, uh, uh, hmm. I think they kind of made it compulsory at one point, where they had to have some kind of activity, NCC or sports. Yeah. And so I don't know if that still continues, but. Uh, I don't, I don't know if uh, imposing sports sometimes it may have the opposite reaction. Yeah, yeah but but it's always no, but like giving them credits, you know, additional oh. credits. They're not necessarily. Yeah. You know. I, 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 haven't, I haven't given thought to that, but yeah. sports has helped me personally, uh, mentally, spiritually, physically, in every way, academically. Yeah, you yeah, you, you go for a run on the even of, of an exam and you feel so relaxed during the exam. Yeah. yeah. The road race also? Yeah, the road race was a very, very popular event. I mean, everyone took part in that event. So the road race was e even non quote unquote non athletes did that. Road race is one of the most popular. Much before events. marathons become a fashion, yeah. 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 This, oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Road. But yes. that was strictly an event within, uh, it was not for other college people here, it was just for IITNs. So, and uh, yeah, it's been a good time reminiscing about all these things and hopefully guys will yeah. see this and get some gyan out of this, I don't know. Of realize how things were way back in the 70s. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I wish we had this equipment to show you these quiz programs, how they went on and uh, some snippets, but uh, never had this in mind, maybe sometime at a later date. Kumaran will get somebody to do a better job of this. Let's hope. Yeah, he'll he'll, yeah. he'll have he'll have uh, I mean, augmented yeah. reality. Augmented reality and virtual Zoom reality yeah. and all these things. <laughs> so, so and, uh, that is our story, or what I remember and well, my experience. As, as an editor or spectator, would you like to give some name to the story? I mean. Something down the years or whatever. I mean, you had you had a talent for coming out of things. Things, yeah. But I think but it's you needed Shiva and Chandramoli also for that. Yeah, we would you throw out each, throw would, each other, yeah, talk yeah, to yeah. each other, and come up with yeah. It's it, it is as I say, it's, it's more, three people can you know, the output is equal to like nine people. <laughs> it's, it's not <laughs> three times one. It is nine times because. That's how people do, who do comedy writing do. They just sit together and have a banter and they come up with, they wouldn't come up with the same jokes if they did it individually. Yeah. This is the detail we went to to explain things. For example, this shows the where the baton exchanges took place, where the collision took place, etc. with everything in detail. And you would find this kind of detail in say Time magazine explaining a crash or something like that. So we did the best we could to give the people as good an idea of what happened as if they were there. And so that that diagram is explained in two or three pages as exactly what happened. <laughs> so that we went to that level of detail to give the reader yeah. a picture of what happened. I think it was important for the crowd back home to know what exactly happened <laughs> at that time. Yeah. Kumaran, uh, I'm always the man behind all these things. He's not here as usual. He's very modest, but I hope he got. I hope uh, this is useful for the Heritage Center and uh, whoever sees it. Right? I think it will be useful. 
facilities and the enthusiasm and the vibes of those days you know the, the mardi gras which colloquially translate as fat tuesday in new orleans at the time where people drink and uh, do all kinds of things take their tops off and so on yeah <laughs> and uh, before they before they become saintly for the next 40 days before easter so uh, we used to have a lot of fun at that time culturally sports wise and although we were not the best sports team in town i think the the facilities and the enthusiasm and the support given by the faculty and others enabled us to develop our capabilities to the best so iit gives you all those opportunities whether we had a yeah. photography club which you could become uh, good in photography so whatever opportunity that you saw it, i think you had you had it here yeah, right. yeah. everybody unusual had. most colleges may may not have that uh, we also have a heritage center oh yes uh, thank you i mean uh, i think uh, never in my dreams did i think that i'll have a chance to sit with uh, my old project <laughs> mate and my fellow metallurgist and my wing fellow mate. everything fellow wing fellow everything fellow wing mate no i mean apart from the bucket parties fellow everything so i want to thank iit madras for giving this uh, opportunity i mean it suddenly came from nowhere and uh, again i said this the man kumaran mm-hmm. i mean i have learned very dedicated to how to get a yes from a person who doesn't want to but in, in the end it's very it has been a nice experience talking yeah. to is very and dedicated in documenting yeah, yeah, documentation that <laughs> is very nice documentation is important in some form institutional memory is important in some form or the other yeah documenting for posterity what but yeah thank you thank you yeah.